Hi everyone, welcome to Tentosan. Today we are going to talk about eight changes in periodontium. Perio means the round dontium is to the structures which surround the tooth. These are cementum, periodontal ligament, alveolar bone and gingiva. So there are four tissues. Out of these four tissues, cementum and alveolar bone are hard tissues. Whereas periodontal ligament and gingiva are soft tissues. So today we are going to talk about eight changes in all these four tissues which can come as a question for your theory exam. So let's start before starting quickly. Subscribe to Tentosan and also give a like to this video as i keep making such interesting videos for you so let's first talk about eight changes in cementum so in cementum first thing first important change is that its thickness its thickness increases with age especially at the apex of the roots of the teeth but why that is happening because of the passive eruption of the teeth that is gingival attachment it moves and the apex of the cementum here the thickness of cementum increases now more cementum is deposited over the lingual surfaces of teeth compared to the other surfaces of teeth and 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 this thickness triples from 10 years of age to 75 years of age so so much of thickness is increasing however if there is gingival recession in those cases thickness of cementum decreases now the second important change is about the cells yes cementum is of two types a cellular cementum and cellular cellular cementum contains cementocytes these cells what happens to these cells there is increased degeneration of these cells with age that is these these cells they gradually die but why because more cementum is getting deposited so their nutritional source which is from periodontal ligament now that decreases so because of which these cementocytes they start to die so we can say that they have decreased access to nutrition as the cementum width increases because of which they start to die also their waste products are now poorly eliminated again because they are very far from the blood supply so because of these reasons they gradually die and now the cellular cementum it becomes acellular because cells are not there but except at the apical region so those are the two important changes in the cementum with age first one is there is increase in thickness of cementum and second one is there is increased degeneration of the cementocyte cells that means their number decreases now second tissue is periodontal ligament now it is a soft tissue so it is made up of so many things there are cells fibers organic matrix now what happens to cells now all the cells their density decreases their number decreases also their proliferation capacity also decreases mitotic activity decreases and their capacity to move that is motility also decreases now what happens to organic matrix the production of this matrix also decreases and the loss of acid mucopolysaccharides has been seen in some studies now what about the fibers fibrous component of periodontal ligament also decreases elastic fibers decrease and what about the cell rest of malazae which are the remnants of Herdwig's epithelial root sheet they are also lying in periodontal ligament so their number also decrease with age so we can see that everything in periodontal ligament is decreasing with age now what about the width of this periodontal ligament space that means this width what happens to that now there are conflicting reports some say that this width decreases some says they increase but generally it is said that it decreases due to decrease in masticatory load because the masticatory forces decrease with age because of which there is less functional stimulation of periodontal ligament so this periodontal ligament becomes narrow so this width also narrows down with age so that is important point and that can be asked as viva question what happens to width of pdl space next is attachment of periodontal ligament in younger people so this pdl is attached to the entire surface on cementum and bone so it is attached to cementum and bone so it is attached to entire surface of cementum and bone but with age what happens the surfaces of these cementum and bone they become rough and now the pdl fibers they are just attached to the peaks of these scallops on the cementum and bone so attachment of pdl changes and now we talk about the alveolar bone so alveolar bone is a hard tissue bone formation decreases with age why the cells which produce bone the osteoblast cells their precursors they decrease with age so there is decrease synthesis and secretion of the bone matrix proteins also a component that is fibronectin which is present in the extracellular matrix it gets damaged with age 
Now its role is in the osteoblastic cell activity. So when fibronectin is decreasing, so osteoblastic activity also decreases. So there is decreased bone formation. So that is the first thing that is bone formation decreases. Now what about the periodontal ligament surface of this bone? So this surface of bone, now it becomes jagged. Yes, it becomes rough. It has sharp areas. So less of these collagen fibers of PDL are now attached to this periodontal ligament surface of the bone. What about the interstitial lamellae? We discussed that bone can be of two types compact bone which has haversian system and in this haversian system the number of interstitial lamellae it increase with age and what about the marrow spaces marrow spaces are present in this trabecular bone here in between the trabeculae now these spaces are now infiltrated by fat cells so marrow becomes fatty with age now what about the bone loss bone loss alveolar process decrease in size with age so in the edentulous jaws in the jaws the teeth have been lost so in those cases the size of the cellular process decreases and the loss of maxillary bone because maxillary bone is also lost so what happens to the maxillary sinus which is present inside it so the size of the sinus will increase so that is important that is bone loss now another important thing that you have to remember that in the with age what happens to the distance between the alveolar crest and the cemento enamel junction so now what do you think what is happening in the younger age it was here and now now it is here so what do you think what is happening to the distance so this distance between the alveolar crest and the cemento enamel junction of the tooth now it increases so that happens to this distance with age now let's talk about gingiva gingiva is a soft tissue now there are visible changes in gingiva which we can see from outside so what happens it becomes dry and atrophic its size decreases its width decreases and there is a pical shift of the junctional epithelium and then it becomes less resistant resilient and more sensitive to external stimuli also the stippling if you remember that there are depressions and elevations which are present on the surface of attached gingiva so that type of appearance is lost with age now that could be due to aging or because of the inflammatory process which is going on there with aging so because of that stippling will be lost next thing is the in the histology the changes which we can see in the epithelium first in the epithelium there is thinning of the epithelium so epithelial atrophy has happens that is decrease in the size of the epithelium acanthosis that is increase in the number of prickle cell layers so that is another point then the parakeratosis parakeratin increases in thickness so that happens keratin component increases now reteridges these are the epithelial projections of the gingiva ep gingival epithelium what happens to these projections again there are conflicting reports some studies says that the junction between the epithelium and connective tissue now becomes flat so there are no epithelial ridges whereas other studies says that there is increase in the height of these epithelial ridges so those are the conflicting reports about the epithelial ridges of the epithelium now regeneration time and mitotic activities that is proliferation capacity of these cells whether it increases or decrease again there are conflicting results then exfoliated cell cells which are shed from the gingiva in them there is decreased diameter of nucleus of the cell size is also decreasing and nucleocytoplasmic ratio is decreasing now let's talk about the changes in the connective tissue this is the connective tissue so what is happening there are cells there are fibers so let's first talk about about the cells the cells decrease in number and the fibers now they become coarse fibers thick fibers and the nerve component fibrous component it decreases with age so collagen fiber formation decreases and collagen fiber degradation increases because of which now we have less fibrous component what about the extracellular matrix component now there are changes in that component also so there is more of heparin sulfate and less of chondroitin sulfate is seen with aging so we can say that overall gingiva loses its protective function so its protective function decreases and healing becomes slower so now let's talk about the summary of the age changes in periodontium first we can talk about the meaning of aging so it is a continuous detrimental and innate phenomena so it is time related phenomena and three theories are there free radicals can cause the damage dna damage due to faulty genes and telomer loss can all these things can lead to aging now let's talk about the four structures of periodontium in cementum first there is increase in the thickness of cementum especially at apic apical region and their number of cementocytes decreases those two important changes periodontal ligament soft tissue 
everything in periodontal ligament is decreasing cells organic matrix fibers elastic fibers and cell rest of malazine now the periodontal ligament space width it generally decreases what about the alveolar bone bone formation decreases marrow becomes fatty and the distance between the alveolar crest and cemento enamel junction increases what about gingiva we can see three types of changes visible changes there the most important apical shift of the junctional epithelium epithelial changes it becomes atrophied and connective tissue changes there is decrease in the collagen fibers now let's check what have you learned first what happens to cementum what happens to its thickness and what happens to cementocytes second is periodontal ligament everything in periodontal ligament is decreasing so it's very easy to predict what happens to cell density what happens to the elastic fibers third is alveolar bone what happens to bone formation and what changes are seen in the marrow which cells infiltrate the marrow and what happens to distance between the alveolar crest and the cemento enamel junction fourth one is gingiva what happens to junctional epithelium it shifts in which direction and what happens to the collagen fibers in gingiva so that is all for this video if you really enjoyed the video do tap on the like button and share this video with your friends keep watching Watching, keep learning keep smiling good luck for your exam see you in the next video soon till then take care bye bye